Jamie and I met at Algonquin in 2014. <laughs> I was actually in class sitting right over there and a buddy of ours had recorded Jamie without her knowing. I heard this girl's voice through an iPhone and I was like, okay, like who is this human? Um, why have I not talked to you yet? And he was like, oh, she's actually working in the culinary department. So after class that day, met her, no idea what she looked like, no idea who she was. And I showed up and I was like, you are not what I expected at all. And like literally we instantly hit it off. We decided the launch was the next best step just because we were already putting out music and we were already gaining traction. And then when we decided to, to move forward with it, we felt like it was the right next step for our career. And it was an incredible experience. We really have no regrets. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Pun intended, I suppose. It really was a great launching platform for us. I say love it, you ain't easy. Baby, what I crave. And I wouldn't want to waste it. The nice thing about the program is it creates like a network of people. I'm in touch with Colin Mills and just asking him advice or asking him questions. And all the, the studio guys like I'm always connecting with and asking gear questions and all that sort of stuff. You get such a great support network from this college. It's great to be able to have your teachers email you being like, we're watching your success. Yeah. And we're really proud of you. Like that's a beautiful thing. And they do care. The thing that I said about Algonquin when I was here and I still say it now is that you're just not just another student member here. People really care about you and the teachers really do want you to succeed. Uh, and that's a beautiful thing and, and we took it with us after we graduated as well. Happy, Happy 50th, 50th anniversary, anniversary Algonquin College. College.